I like to use really simple drawings every morning as a way to check in with myself. It's this really grounding experience of coming back to the art day after day and expressing my unique energy in that moment. It's just a way of asking, how are you right now, Michelle? And answering really authentically to myself. I might do my drawings differently just depending on my mood, but here is one that's super simple and easy to try. I call this one the single line drawing, and here are the steps to do it for yourself. Step number one is to set the intention. I always write today I feel, and then I draw my picture underneath, but along with that, I am setting the intention to honestly and authentically check in with myself and express that outward. So you wanna get clear on the intention before you ever put the pen to the piece of paper. Step number two is to check in with how you feel. This is different than when somebody says, hi, how are you? And you say, good, how are you? I want you to actually know how you feel in this moment. And so that requires you to pause and sink into your inner experience and feel and be honest and be accepting of whatever is there. It doesn't have to take a long time, but there's a dropping in point before you're ready to make the drawing. Step number three is you take your pen or whatever you're gonna work with and you put it to the piece of paper and you're connected to that I know how I feel inside and you just decide where you're going to begin. You pick your spot and you make your first move and you continue to make moves and you do not pick your pen up. This is a single line drawing. So you're really just following, okay? I feel like this and then I feel like this and I feel like this and you just keep going as long as it feels right, as long as it feels like there is more to be expressed. And you're slowly checking in with yourself, looking for resonance, waiting to have the feeling of like, there, that's it. And then you know you're done. This is the one that I did just this morning. You can see it took maybe 30 seconds or a minute tops. And right away, it feels satisfying to do this practice because you have taken the time to slow down, check in with yourself, and honor how you feel by representing it tangibly. When you look at this image and it resonates with you of, yes, that is how I feel, that is a beneficial experience for you to be validated by yourself. I'm also often surprised by how I feel. I think maybe I'm kind of grumpy or whatever, but when I create my image, often it reflects back a slightly different experience than what my mind thought was happening. So I like those types of surprises. But what's even more fun is in my art as a soul language process, I teach you how to then do a specific type of writing about the image. And from the writing and the image you created, you can go deeper and pull out what we call soul messages. Soul messages are the hidden meaning that's coming through you from your higher, wiser self through your image and the words that you use that is guiding you in your life. It's a really common saying that art is the language of the soul, and that's because it's true. So many artists across the history of time have felt that. They're like, there is something really special and powerful about creating art. And what I have done is created a system, a formula that you can use to purposefully get messages from yourself through the process. If you're curious about that, I've got a free guide to using art as a soul language in the comments below. Go check it out right now so that you can try this line drawing exercise and go deeper into the meaning that it has for you and your life.